Well, I reckon you didn't do it then. Why do you say that? You know, I've driven a bunch of fellas down to this prison. Lord knows how many. Usually it's about now I get the, I didn't do it. And what do you say? I say, yep, I know you didn't. Followed your case a little bit, you being a making boy and all. You're from Macon then? Yep. Came up to Atlanta to be a city cop in the 70s. I always wanted to work a murder case. Like that senatorial mess you got yourself mixed up in. With all due respect. A real shame, that is. Hell. The whole family used to be regulars at your folks' drugstore right in downtown. Still there? Sure is. Good. Be advised, uh, medical personnel en route to Hartsfield, various 10 to 20 coming in. Any of that seem important to you? All of it. But that box never shuts up. Sit in this seat and pay too much attention and you'll drive yourself crazy. I got a nephew up at UGA. You teach there long? Going on my sixth year. You meet your wife in Athens? You want to know how I see it? Sure. Regardless, could be you just married the wrong woman. You'll have to learn to stop worrying about things you can't control. I'm driving this man once. He, he was the worst one. 
he wouldn't stop going on about how he didn't do it. He was an older fella, big soft eyes behind a pair of smart folk glasses, and he just wailing back there. Says it wasn't him, crying and snotting all over right where you're all sitting. Officers are available for incoming to one and before long, he starts kicking the back of the seat like, like a fussy baby on an airplane. Not tell him he's got to stop, but that's government property, and I'll be forced to zap him otherwise. So he stops, and having exhausted all his options, he starts crying out for his mama. Mama, it's all a big mistake. It wasn't me. So did he do it? They caught the fucker red-handed. Stabbing his wife, cutting her up as the boys came through the door. He sits in my car screaming bloody murder that it wasn't him. I think he actually believed it himself. It goes to show, people will up and go mad when they believe their life is over. Oh, I got another good one for you. This one's a little bit less depressing and a bit more hilarious if I do say so. This other time... <laughs> Officer, are you all right? I'm still cuffed back here. Why the hell did he have his gun out? Officer? Oh, that doesn't look good. He wasn't ejected from the car. Maybe it was tossed from the car during the wreck. He's not moving. He must have the handcuff keys on him. He must have the handcuff keys on him. I need to drag myself out that window. easier to carry with these cuffs off.
officer? God damn. Hello? Anybody? I'd fill one of those teacups with some bourbon if I could. No ladder. I'm not 
getting up there anyway. This leg the way it is. No ladder. <laughs> I'm not getting up there anyway. This leg the way it is. I wonder if anybody's home. Somebody! Yell if you can hear me! Hello? Anybody home? I need a little help. Hello? There's something going on. Coming in. Don't shoot, okay? intruder or one of them these people might need more help than I do That beeping. Message one left at 5:43 p.m. Hey Sandra, this is Diana. We're still in Savannah. Uh, Ed had a little incident with some crazy guy near the hotel, so we had to get him back to the ER and have it checked out. Anyway, he's not feeling well enough to drive back tonight, so we're staying an extra day. Thanks so much for looking after Clementine, and I promise we'll be back in time before your spring break. Message 2, left at 11.19 p.m. Oh my god, finally. I don't know if you tried to reach us. All, all the calls are getting dropped. They're not letting us leave and aren't telling us anything about Atlanta. Please, please, just leave the city and take Clementine with you back to Murrieta. I've, I've got to get back to the hospital. Please let me know that you're safe. Message 3, left at... 6.51 a.m. Clementine, baby. If you can hear this, call the police. That's 911. We love you. We love you. We love you. this? I'm Clementine. This is my house. Hi, Clementine. I'm Lee. You're not my daddy. No, I'm not. Where are your parents? They took a trip and left me with Sandra. They're in Savannah, I think. Where the boats are? Are you safe? I'm outside in my treehouse. They can't get in. That's smart. See? Can you see me? 
I can see you through the window. Did you kill it? Yes. It's okay. I think she was a monster. Yeah, I think so, too. You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah. I want my parents to come home now. I think that might be a little while, you know? Oh. Look, I don't know what happened, but I'll look after you until then. What should we do now? We need to find help before it gets dark. Yeah, it's not safe at night. Let's go. Stay close to me. I ain't never getting home to mama at this rate. This sucks. Oh, it's hot dish night. What's the matter? Should I stay? What? I don't want to sleep in the treehouse tonight, but I don't know if I should leave. What if my parents come home? I won't leave you alone. Well, let's go somewhere safe that's close, okay? That's a good idea. Hey, man! Holy shit! Don't eat us! We're not gonna hurt you. Yeah. Thought for a second you and the little one were both gonna give us the chomp. Do you know what the hell this is? No idea. So you've seen them then. You could say that. I'm Sean. Sean Green. Lee, this is Clementine. I'm Chet. We shouldn't be out in the open like this. How about you help us clear the way, and we'll take you and your daughter out of here and down to my family's farm. It should be safer there. 
I'm not a dad. I'm... Her babysitter. Her parents are out of town. Let's get going. Staying put for too long is a mistake. What do you want to do? I... Your monster's coming. You gotta go. Leave quick. Let's go. As babysitters go, I'd say her parents owe you a tip. 